Tick Tock Dock, this panel proposes constantly traveling west to earlier time zones to gain time and live forever. Fun fact, in many Asian countries like Japan and South Korea, babies were traditionally considered one year old at birth, based on the belief that life begins at conception rather than birth, which means anyone who visited these countries then would automatically get one year older. But that's just a fun fact to know. Now back to our topic. Time is its own thing. It doesn't care about clocks, calendars, or where you stand on earth. It's relative. It can stretch and squeeze, but it can't run backwards or stay still. It always moves forward. Time is a scalar quantity. The only things that can affect it are speed and gravity. Time zones are a human construct made to standardize time across different geographical areas that exist because of Earth's roughly spherical shape and its constant rotation around its own axis and around the sun, which will continue to happen regardless of your position or what you are doing. While you may temporarily gain an hour by moving west, you're not actually stopping time, because the Earth's rotation is what causes day and night cycles regardless of time zones, and night will eventually catch up. Unless if you are traveling west at 1670 km per hour, that is the rotational speed of Earth, then you will technically get to experience a perpetual sunset. But that's a job for Superman. Aging is a biological process and will continue regardless of where you are. Your body has its own internal circadian rhythm that doesn't simply reset with what is shown on a clock. Constant traveling would likely leave you with severe jet lag and will disrupt your sleep wake cycle, making it very difficult to function properly. While you might repeat hours by changing time zones, days on the calendar are still advancing. On a larger scale, no one can avoid the passage of time.